Welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel and welcome back to another unboxing. Friends, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting that like button. And a big shout out to all the Golden Circle channel members who will get to see this video the moment I am done editing it and get it uploaded to YouTube. Um, regardless of when it uh, actually releases to the public, I've got a problem. I got a problem with backing Kickstarters that I shouldn't back um, because I think the game looks cool, but then I'm never going to play the game. Um, and I always back Kickstarters that have a physical element, which is dumb because I'm always trying to get rid of uh, stuff around the house. Uh, so this is that. This is, uh, I believe, uh, this is an order from Drive Thru Cards uh, from Drive Thru RPG. Um, and this is uh, some cards I ordered for a Kickstarter. And I just, when I when I start backing a Kickstarter, I'm like, oh, there, there's things that are only available for physically, you know, uh, physical-wise. I should get them. Or there's only, you know, you'll get a PDF of them, but it'll save you money. You know, you'll get them included in your pledge if you... Uh, pledge at the level where you can get the drive through RPG cards at cost and all that kind of stuff. So I believe that's what this is, unless I'm totally mistaken about what is in this box. There we go. Let's see. I'm, I'm not going to say any more about it until I'm 100% sure that that is what it is. But let's see what we got here. All right. Letters to the Stars Core. Letters to the Stars. Did they do this again? Did they send me? I think they did. They sent me two sets again. I, I'm not, I'm not friends. I am not understanding this. I, I only ordered one set. I only paid for one set. I got two. Why? 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 All right. So here's the backstory. This is a game uh, called Letters to the Stars. Let me bring this over here. You can see maybe a little bit better. Uh, it's called Letters to the Stars. Uh, this was created by the same uh, designer who did... Um, the a dead ball baseball game that I played in here. And... Uh, these are cards that go along with this game called Letters to the Stars. And Letters to the Stars is, it, it, it caught me because of its uniqueness. That's what made me, ch you know, back the game. Is that it is sort of a role-playing game where you, uh, now I haven't read 100% of the rules. This is just me skimming over the rules and skimming over the descriptions and stuff. Where you, um, you, you know, uh, play some of the game, you write down what happens, you send it to a friend, and then a friend responds. And you have to wait until your friend responds before you can do the next action. Uh, so it's, you, you're, you're kind of doing it to send it out, uh, you know, into the universe. It's almost like it's supposed to sort of simulate the communication gap uh, that sort of happens in space, you know, where like they're like, oh, we have to wait a minute and a half before they'll get signal again. So it's kind of like that sort of thing. And um, these are cards that go along with the game. I, I do have uh, all the game, uh, you know, I have the PDF and stuff, and then I got these cards uh, to go along with it. Uh, but Drive Through RPG is sending me two of everything every time I order. And I, friends, trust me, I did not order two sets of these cards. I would not order two sets of cards for uh, a game I'm just sort of like, eh, maybe I'll play uh, on. But let's take a look. This is the core deck. Drive through RPG is uh, the cards are are just sending, are just giving money away, which is crazy. All right, so that's just uh, the receipt there. Like I even think with this game, I was supposed to name a captain, a star captain, or something. I pledged at that level, um, and I just never sent in my thing, uh, so I missed out on that. But I don't know. I, I backed it because I, I, I liked Dead Ball. You know, we've had a lot of Dead Ball here on the channel. Um, and then kind of when I was after the between the time of backing and then getting the initial instructions, I was just like, eh, OK, all right. Interesting. So, I you know, I don't. Uh, OK. Oh, let me see. There's different types of cards. Threats affected section. 
threat power, countering ship threats. Ship's purpose, captain's origin, um, captain's interference, the controls, and I think like time controls here, orders of play, establish a threat, pick from the table or the deck, or if there are already active threats, roll to detect that. Threat response, roll to contain the threat, if necessary, roll uh, for threat attacks. Destroy threat and final assault. Uh, may make one captain move. Once a contained threat has been dealt with, all other threats attack. Uh, mission during 0104 key officer roll for mission prep. And messaging roll for connect and after delay send message to correspondent. Yeah, so there are some instructions I read here where um, where they like you count within minutes seconds or breaths so like if you want to play a faster version of the game uh you count your breaths uh so interesting there all right so we got some crew cards here uh hermansky spawn shepherd ducky gilliam hoke hightower demi Fitzpatrick, Abraxas, Ambrose, and Dolokhov. So those are crew cards. And then we have, are these all threat cards? Yes, these are all threat cards. So, uh, dissatisfied officers plot a rebellion. It spreads fast. A dangerous stowaway lurks on the ship. Underground mili uh, militants use fear to disrupt the ship. A weak spot in the hull threatens to shatter. A system failure causes the ship to drift off course. Uh, life support systems fail randomly all over the ship. So those are your threat cards. This is the basic deck or the core deck, I guess. And then there is... The bonus deck, so there's the receipt for this. We've got more crew cards. Got a lot of crew cards there. I think maybe I was supposed to pick a crew card. I don't really know. And then there's more threats. So I'm not going to go through every single one of these, but uh, we can check them out. And I think you could, at one level, you could submit a picture to put in. Some of these are, I recognize this Earl Buck. This is like on Pexels. It's a, um, a website where you can get uh, royalty-free artwork. And then we've got uh, eyeballs grow in the bodies of officers everywhere. They ooze. They see too much. T1 social. So I don't know. I was thinking like when I originally heard about this game, I was a little bit like, oh, maybe this is something where I could play. And then you, the viewers, uh, could be the people I communicate with, um, you know, according to the rules. So if that sounds interesting, let me know, because I'm not 100% I'm not against uh, giving that a try. Uh, especially if, like, sort of the turn-based part of it uh, doesn't take too much um, to do, um, then, then yeah, we could definitely do that. I, what is going on with drive through RPG and the drive through RPG cards? Because this is the second order I've gotten from them where I've gotten a whole other extra set of cards. And these cards aren't cheap. They're not, they're not cheap. Uh, anyway, there you go. Um, I will put a link to this game in the show notes. So if you want to check it out, you can. And again, let me know if you, if you think I should, uh, 
maybe play a few rounds and uh, you, the commenters, could be the people I am um, communicating with because I'm, I'm happy to do that, um, you know, just to, to check out how it plays. Uh, that's going to do it for this time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks again to all the Golden Circle channel members, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.